What's up, guys? This is Sunset Dave 5664, otherwise known as Mini Panga Dave. You can call me either. I have no preference as to which. But uh, uh, last night, you know, the episode got postponed, so I can't kind of rush here after my class today in order to watch it. And uh, you know, I was gonna live stream it, but now it's just a recording. So uh, I'm gonna be reacting to Purple Swell Odyssey All Stars Episode 5B. And uh, I remember I was really upset when 5A came out because Purple Gaze trolled me and he was like, it's going to come out on Friday. No, it came out on Tuesday. So I really wanted more time to brainstorm, but I guess I didn't get that. Hopefully, hopefully I still won't die. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to get right into the episode since there's not really anything left to do. Hi everyone, welcome to the fifth result. Yeah, he used Carbonic from Gizmo, dude. I'm so happy. Last round, our 17 remaining alumni sure submitted 21 responses to the prompt. A new brand of soda okay, has good, swept it is recording. the nation and became as often sold as water. What's the drink called, and why did it become so popular? Their responses were put into voting, and 24 voters cast 62 votes. The voters were Alga Dubois, Ali WR, Ani the Jumper, Blandy, Christian Panda YT, Cold Mole 13, Ender Dragon, Ethan Lane, Gizmo Dude 8128, Icoti, Izzy, JCLKT, JPOM, The Unicorn. That's a lot of voters. Hopefully they all voted on all three. Pringles, all screened. Random Gamer 123, Sergeant Snivy, Site Director Stalox Hawkray, Super J, The Name's H, Wombo Combo. Why does he say the name's J? Thanks it's so much to everyone who voted. SH, I the name. Shh. Like, be quiet. By the way, shout out to Dave. Hold on, hold on. He's sh he sh out shouting me? Uh, but I need to go charge this because I just realized my battery's low. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that. If, you, if this was in the video, then obviously it got cut out because, you know, I don't want like a 30 second gap in the video. But yeah, so let's just get back on with this. <laughs> Yo, no problem. Like, this I love this one. First round of one, by one review. This means that rather than starting from the winner of this round and reviewing from top down, I start from the winner of last round and reveal each contestant's Which is score me! in that order until all 17 contestants have been revealed. If three people place below you in the reveals, you're safe. If there aren't enough players left to be revealed for at least three to land below you, you're then dead. You're dead. These <sighs> indicators will be represented by green and red regions on the reveal grid. Let's yeah. <laughs> Mini Panga Dave is. I okay. What I'm okay. I'm sad that that's my first response, but I would like to say that the last time I was revealed during Carbonic by Gizmo Dude, I won because this is in Purple Gaze. Like, no, sorry, that was dark, like round eleven or something. So, yeah, hopefully I win again. <laughs> I don't know, though. I'm, I don't know, because I don't like this top response. I like my second response better, but hopefully... I mean, hopefully that's a good thing, because I like my second response, then, you know, maybe the first one did really good. I don't know why, but I just hope people didn't, you know, hate my responses. I know Site Director Solix Hacker, I didn't, so... Hey, I got some shot, because <laughs> I'm not a uh, Gamer Girl P. Up first, having won last round. Despite submitting two responses, he still felt like he could have done oh, better. Oh, I'm and super nervous. Super nervous. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. And yeah, and you freaking trolled me. response was, see-through soda makes. I don't like that entry. Never before <laughs> that makes me feel less comfortable. Now. Classic twelve response point. Seems a bit unoriginal to me, but who knows? Let's see how. All my responses are unoriginal. Let's see how the arrow goes. I'm gonna get like 60%. Oh, hey, 65%. That's good. That'll undoubtedly get him safe. Good job, Dave. All right, we're breaking out the cookie butter here for this celebration, right here. Stuff so good. Note that scores of second responses will not be shown until the final leaderboard at the end, in order to prevent math and spoilers. Gizmo Dude 8128 is up next. His higher scoring response was. It's a delicious cola oh. made entirely of milk. I wasn't wrong about Gizmo having a bad DRP. Now, his first response was pretty good, depending on how you look at it, but I think it's going to have a high standard deviation, so. Chocolate. Let's see how he, let's see how he does. Chocolate? I don't know how to emphasize Chocolate. That. Here we see another contestant going for wordplay. It worked well for Dave, but will it work for Gizmo? Oh, I forgot I that he doesn't show DRPs. Like Gizmo's response a lot better than Dave's, but we'll see. Gizmo is getting revealed to his own music. Now that's meta right there. It's gonna be at the end of this. 
Dun, dun, dun. Oh, he's gonna get just under fifty. Dun. So forty-six point eight three. Okay. That. What the heck? That's not. That's good not. At all. Though forty-six point eight three. Bad. It's not an awful score. Any dying score seen so far, it still could be. Dangerous. I think. I think Gizmo's gonna live. Honestly. Is up third, and his higher response was. I told you guys. Lay Uni submit that submitted this response. Gamer Girl P. It had to be. It had to be him by law of elimination. Had sleep to be. Soda guarantees good sleep with its melatonin infused drink. Here's a drink I'd benefit from given my terrible. Sleep. <laughs> oh my gosh. How to do? The arrow goes like the same speed all the time. A solid score of 55%. Why are people placing like 0.00%? Here we see the green region finally appear. Hey, I'm about to be revealed it, safe. Unless, uh, unless Nerd beats me, which I think he's going to. three people getting eliminated, you're guaranteed a spot in the next round. Even if every other contestant after places above you. Site director Solid Sakurai is up next. Why? <laughs> Why did that first response rank above his second? His second one was so good. Nerd was the contestant that by far put the most work into the response, from what I've seen, with countless edits and wording changes. I think, in the end, it resulted in a really He edited this like 37 times, didn't he? And flows off well, that's what I saw in like the <laughs> results chat. Let me just make sure, okay. How'd all of Nerd's extreme brainstorming do? I'll turn this down a little bit, but yeah. The arrow is going slower, and I think he programmed it to like go slower. As it goes on, but I think Nerd's gonna continue his streak regardless. Wow, an amazing yeah. score, 75.44%. Congrats, Nerd, you're the first contestant to be announced safe into the next round. And with a score like that, you're on track to get yourself a prize. I'm either gonna get prize scraped or... Oh, I might not get it. Oh, Tot might die. <laughs> That's not good. But she since he's my ult. A different approach to wordplay, making up an interesting concept. How will this fare? Oh, that's a fast arrow. Yeah, I think the speed of the arrow has to do with it as well, because in darks it's pretty much irrelevant. He ranked above Gizmo, <laughs> but I'm safe now, so. But still dangerous. Tot, I know you were gonna vote this round, but weren't able to, so dying here would be very unfortunate. Meanwhile, Dave is safe into the final 14. Let's go. Blandy's up next with his response. I love Blandy. He's a cool guy. I hope he lives. It's quietly doomed. A classic Twow referential response. It mentions books. Oh, I barely even noticed that this was upon. like supposed in to be a Twow because everybody's a book. Twow referential interpretation, though, this might not be so bad. <laughs> oh, that's fast. That's that's not good for Mandy. No, 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 no. Exactly. Thank. Praise the sun. Praise the Lord. He, Blandy is safe. A high enough score for Blandy to live as well. Great job. So Uni's safe Wombo despite Wombo wasting his time. <laughs> well, I was like, I forgot Wombo is still alive, and I forgot Lenny Chu is alive as well, and I'm like, well, I guess I don't know if I don't know if Wombo's gonna live anymore. Wait, is, is that Lenny Chu on top of his book or something? Score of 43.94%. That's like when Riley got 43, 7, 3, and 12, 14. This is, this is a lot like 12, 14. A lot like it. Conspicuous Piggies up next with the response Doggo Soda. At first, I thought this was Izzy's, but I realized Izzy's was the Starbucks response. For exposure. An interesting fact about names like this Google has actually claimed most of them. If you were to send yourself to goggle.com, you'd just be redirected to google.com. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to test that. We're going to test that. Goggle.com. Yeah, it redirects you to Google. Never mind. All right. <laughs> so, oh, short lived. <laughs> okay, I, I I take back what I said about the speed of the arrow. It, it's irrelevant. Another score of exactly fifty percent. Okay, this is Thai City, isn't it? Good job. And by that I mean T I E, not T A I. Snivy is next with the response. Boost beer. Snivy scrapes. Endorsed. That's my prediction. Snivy will scrape this round. Mark my words. Coming back in a few minutes to prove myself right. Holy crap! That was fast. Never mind. Never mind. 
His response was, Infinifiz preserves its carbonation, ensuring that it never Pringles prizes. A nicely worded response that's concise and gets its point across well. How this cool sounding brevity fare with the voters? He's not gonna beat Nerd, but he's gonna beat me. So that means I'm gonna have to like hang on to hope the entire time that, yeah, that like I'm gonna have to hang on to hope that nobody else ranks above me. <laughs> Wait. Great job. So I just need to all seven people. Super J wasn't confident this round. I personally really like this response, but I can see it being controversial. Oh, people! People hated this in reviews. And I think it was well executed here. Let's see. I don't trust the arrow anymore. If he ranks above Wombo, I'll be surprised. Oh, wow. That is not good at all. A score of 28. That is very sad. I'm I'm sorry, Super J. I like your custom book, like how he's thinking on a rock. It's pretty cool. Everybody else gets like 20 percent. This was an interesting response. No, that's not that's not his response. Once again, a response that was worded well and got its Hold on, hold on. Fizz pop wasn't his response. His response was like. I don't remember, but I know he edited it, and Purple Gaze like sent out an announcement like in DMs. Hey, this uh, this was actually this was the edit before he edited it to something else. This response is honestly better because it has to do with a soda. The other one didn't. It was like freeze pop or something like that. So either way, this response would have been better with this wording. But I don't know if people downloaded it after that. I didn't, but we'll see. Among a sea of jokes and puns, this style of response is often refreshing to see. Just like my DRP, which somehow ranked below my first response. A score of 55.30%. I wonder when Gizmo is going to be safe. Ani the Jumper is up next with the response. Ah, uh, I guess that answers my question. Wow. I'm sorry, Ani. I'm sorry. I didn't want you to die. Well, that's what I said about Super Jays, and that didn't do well at all. So he might be out of luck here, but we'll see. Look at the. Look at the speed of that era. What? Holy crap! Ani survived! I did not expect that at all. I did not expect that. Wow. <laughs> then who's gonna die? <laughs> What's going on? Wow, I am shocked. I am shocked. Nicotine is a response concept I've used before, so it's probably not the most original. However, this wow. can be hard to notice sometimes in voting, and the response is worded well. So, when this was submitted, I really had no predictions for how well or poorly it would do. This response is like 50% material, right here. An average percentile uh, of 50 that arrow is glitched. Um, why well, it's right here, but the arrow is down here. Not really sure why that is, but oh, only three people left. Let's hope everybody else ranks below me. If like the, if, I think Ethan Lane was the last person. If he ranks above me, I'm gonna be so mad. Going against Super J, the first contestant to be revealed in the Sunday Plastic Trojan. Oh, is he? Never mind. But had an uncharacteristic low Told you this was Izzy's response. I said that a long time ago. It's Starbucks brand coffee soda, full of caffeine, sugar, This is the millionth time I'm like uh, of course. hanging onto a prize and I need people to rank below me, well, like at the end. To it. I'm sure a good amount of the voters did. Let's see how far relatability got you. Hey, please rank below me. Like, please, like, get, like, 64% or lower. Preferably much, but, like, into safety. A score of 58 well, rest in peace, Super J. Rippy dip. Also, Wyatt's score is, like, above his head. I don't know why that is. Is that? There are only three now, season winners, right? Against Plasmic Trojan, who submitted 
They've somehow liquidized. I voted this up, so I don't know what's happening. Here we see Trojan submitting one of his trademark puns. Um. This is a pretty good one, though, so it'll probably do well. Let's see. Please, this is like, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Oh, never mind. Wait, maybe. Okay, I just need Ethan Lane to rank below me. That's all that I want. Oh my gosh, Gizmo! I just realized Gizmo is on the verge of death. Holy crap! This is intense, on multiple accounts, not just me prizing. I think I'm gonna prize. <laughs> I think I'm gonna prize. I just need this to rank below me. Come on, come on. Similar to why its nicotine problems would survive, but as with that, it's not entirely an original concept, as we can see here. It's Ethan Lane against legendary Twower Gizmo Dude 8128. Forty-six point eight percent would be a relatively high score to die with, and with two responses as well. And so far, we've only seen it's one because like Gamer Girl P brought the average down or brought the average up because I got like zero percent. Round five's final battle: Who will survive? I prize! Woo! All right. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh! Gizmo Futex again. No! No way, dude. Did Tot did scrape with that score? Wait, no. Wait, yeah, Tot scraped. Gizmo died. That's insane. The av I tell you, the average is like 0% because of the trash DRPs, but I'm pretty sure both me and Nerd got our DRPs above the death region, so I don't know what's going on with that. DRPs must have been so low, and Super J's score was so low as well. That's absolute. That's Here that's insane. Good job to those who survived. Oh, <laughs> I was the only DRP who lived, and my favorite response was in the death region. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm uh, wow, wow. Look at this. All the prizers would have died if not for their first response, except me. That's insane. Look at this. This response was good. This is my favorite entry, and it ended up in the death region. That's insane. And here, another round of sad death happens. Super wow. Day. After you won season 3, Insane. everyone knew you had the skills to do well in this round. Your last place Q-Tech in season 4 does come to mind when looking at this round, as it seems a history of last place deaths is forming. And weirdly enough, the consistency master curse strikes again. No one can hold this role for more than a round without dying, and you, sadly, were not an exception. Guess the role of consistency master might never be consistent. Rippy dippy. Wombo Combo, I was rooting for you as you were the final Season 1 alumnus remaining. Having just revealed yourself to have an all opportunity at the start of the season, you started to become more relevant and were showing promise, being both close to front runner. Oh yeah, Wombo's dead now. Wait, wasn't Lenny Chu? Wait, no, Lenny Chu's dead, I think. Just reading the prompts caused an Is he the- Are all the Season 1 alumni dead? I feel like there's one person left. Congrats on your accomplishments, though. And Gizmo Dude 8128. I cannot believe you this. Wild, I still can't believe this. Last. You were wild, but you prized last round, making your death very shocking. Wait, Especially did he just what, did he just say that twice? Hold on. Congrats on your accomplishments, though. And Gizmo Dude 8128. You were wild, but you prized last round. You were wild, but you prized last round. Oh, he obviously rushed this because he wanted it out. <laughs> I actually really couple like errors here and there, but aside from that, a really good episode. But a trial like this would not be complete without a surprising <coughs> death around every point. Sorry, you had to be on the receiving Every death is surprising. What you never know who's gonna die because everybody's like what super good. Let's go! Down. I'm the front runner again. What is it with front runners doing badly the round? <laughs> what did he just say? <laughs> he just said that twice. Is doing badly the round after they receive the title. What is it with front runners doing badly the round <laughs> Is this my computer glitching or is this the episode? Oh my gosh. Dave also holds on to the wildest survivor. Let's go. My standard deviation is getting smaller. And snags the consistency master goal. The curse is looking pretty strong so far, so you better watch out. This means that only two people are holding the four relative rank based titles. Interesting. Another stat I kept track of this round was the ranks over time for the response. Oh, that's what Dark does. In this graph, each line represents a contestant. 
The Y axis represents the player's rank after every Oh, was vote, I in first for one? The mark after each individual person voted. <coughs> the amount of time that it, in the voting period. it looks like I'm this line that like goes up front here, goes up front here. Yeah, cuz I ended up in third place. So I was in first for a while and then Nerd took first and then and then me and Ethan Lane were at it for a while, but he eventually beat me. I was n okay up before here. I was never no. I was never before uh, below third place when I was up here. So I'm glad I still prized. And the percentage of the voting period that had elapsed. I was on the edge of my seat watching the results unfold in the last hour, and now you can see why. There are a few cool. Okay, Gizmo. He was up here for a while, but then he ended up down here. Just how people like took a rise and fall. Except for like. It was this Trojan who like fell and then rose again. Things to note here: Blandy was scraping for a huge portion of the voting period, went into death for one vote, and then raised himself back up to tenth at the very end. Ethan Lane was dead for nearly four whole days, but managed to sneak up in just the final hour. That is crazy. And interestingly, Gizmo like, was people... never dead through the entire. I like seeing how people like rise and fall based on like the votes over a certain period of time because there are people who go like who are so low in the rankings they're like dead last but then maybe they vote or other people vote and they like get like just out of the death reach. I know that happened to Snivy in uh, Dark Season 9. Voting period until Pre alumni after round, it was crazy. Vote, which made his death all the more surprising to me. Feel free to look at this chart more extensively if you want. It'll be posted in a statistics channel as well. The statistics this channel? This was a very eventful round and I hope you're as excited to see the season continue as I Oh, what's the prompt? I'm Your scared for this. Is, as an eight-year-old, nothing <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. From this perspective, what's the ideal way to enjoy your? I'm time? screwed. <laughs> Send your one response or two responses if you place in the top three this round, or zero responses if you aren't alive. In Discord DMs to zero Bio response by March prize. Third, March third. Holy 30 crap! 30. Are we going to season three if deadlines or something? Contestants respond. Two will prize and two will. Okay, good. Game. That's a low stakes so round then. Everyone. I'll see you all next time. Well, guys, that's it for my, uh, that's it for my episode. Well, that's it. That's all I have to say. Thanks for watching.